Hi, Pete Nelson here with Treehouse Masters. I'm in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and we have built the biggest treehouse yet. It's really quite something. Would you like to see it? Ta-da! <laughs> Look at this, this is a Swiss Family Robinson special. I mean, we have pod one on the ground, well, not on the ground, about 10 feet off the ground. Pod two, bedroom pod, about 23, 24 feet off the ground. And then you can't quite see the third pod, but it's a little uh, crow's nest, about 35 feet off the ground. It's just so fun, let's go see. Cause look at all that recycled stuff. Everything in here, aside from the yellow wood, which is uh, really one of our great companies because they give us all kinds of wood for to build with and this yellow wood is pressure treated stuff and that pressure treated stuff as a carpenter I gotta love because it doesn't like rot I mean look at this look, here we go look at this up to this enormous deck look at this deck compared to me look at this tree I mean oh, huge live oak so strong the densest oak out there a live oak We've got all these beautiful reclaimed materials on the outside and it continues onto the inside, so follow me. So look at all this recycled stuff. I mean, this is so warm and beautiful. This is some beadboard. Now this is absolutely some pine. This is gorgeous, that southern yellow pine. They call it heart pine a lot. Beautiful interior design. Look at this couch. I mean, here we are in a tree. So if you need a refreshment, here's your bar. Look at this. We brought this, this is Western Red Cedar, one big slab right here. It's related very closely to the cypress that are common around here. Every now and then, of course, nature calls, and instead of just go, you know, going out to the deck like most treehouse people do, we have a bathroom. I wanted to put a sink on the tank of the toilet, because they do that a lot. Over in Japan, I've seen this, where you know, it's a very efficient way to go. You've got your toilet, and then on the back, they've got a built-in sink, so you can wash your hands. Oh, check this out, this is so cool. This ceiling is all that heart pine, but then we've got a three by nine foot skylight. In a tree house, a skylight like this is quite something. You can look up and see the canopy. You can also see that it rained last night and we have kind of a, an aquarium effect. This is beautiful, I know, but we have two more pods to show you. I mean, two more pods, come on. Okay, so in here, I'm gonna take my shoes off. Look at this. I mean, this space is to be used as kind of an art studio. Um, their daughter does all this painting, and you can see these are all her renderings of birds. Okay, let's go up to the crow's nest, man. Oh, God. So, beautiful ladder. But the thing is, we're gonna go up now, and this thing is up there. I mean, it's 35 feet in the air. Maybe that doesn't sound like a lot to you, but when you're up there looking down, you know, add six feet to that, so 41 feet feels like so high up. But here we go. It's safe, don't you worry. Uh, you know, I trust it anyway. Look at this, whoa, look at this. Wow, wow. Well, thanks for coming out. Really enjoyed building this treehouse. I hope you had a good time touring it too. Don't forget to tune in Animal Planet Friday nights at 10, Treehouse Masters.